Hello and welcome to another video. Thank you for joining me. So today we are going to discuss about SAR command. What is the SAR command and all about the SAR and what is the use of SAR in the Linux system. Okay, let's get started. So generally SAR, right? S A R. It is the uh, full form of the SAR is system activity and report. So it is a tool in Linux which is used for collect, report, save all the system activity information like CPU utilization, memory usage, I/O devices usage, right? So all this information will be collected and reported to a specific location by the SAR utility. <coughs> so how the SAR is installed on the Linux system. So there is a, just like the some different different kind of the Linux distributions just like the CentOS base, Pandora base, Ubuntu bases, right. So if it is in the base on the CentOS or Fedora, right, Red Hat Linux, then you can use the yum install sys state and hyphen y right i have already installed but it will give that you have already installed so let so it is saying that the package sys state is already installed and nothing to do right so ye package jaake already installed hai hum yahan se aise bhi verify kar sakte hain ki kya hamare system ke andar sar utility install hai ya nahi hai तो आपको ये कमांड यूज करनी है स्पेस हाइपन क्यू ए पाइप साइन क्रैप हाइपन आई सिस स्टेट सो इट विल से यस इफ इट इज देयर देन इट विल से पैकेज इज ऑलरेडी अवेलेबल देयर ओके ग्रेट नेक्स्ट हाउ वी कैन सी राइट सो लेट सपोज इफ यू वांट टू सी द रियल टाइम सी पी यू यूटिलाइजेशन एंड इट्स की द detail in the average or something like that how we can see right so what you have to run the command system hyphen sorry sar hyphen u and the number of intervals just like the every two minutes or say so key for jake number of uh, consecutively four times i want to see right within the interval of the two then you have to mention the just like that two and four and this wait and watch right so this command executed a 38 42 40 42 44 and it has given the average so just like let me little bit zoom it it will give you us the more clear view so just like i have seen that now 100 percent ideal right what is the IO weight and all these things let's suppose i want to see the memory statics right then how i can see either you can sar hyphen r command or just like you can give the number of times and the number of interval so it is giving us the current memory use percent is 38 percent right so and it will give us the average value as well so average we have the 38.88 percent use memory if i want to see io statics then you can i can use the hyphen b right so it will give us the input and output details right if i want to see just like if i want to see the swap memory uses right then you can use sar space hyphen s command and use the same manner just like i have uh, started my system recently so it is not giving the all clear view but yeah definitely you can use this so it will give us the more just like the kb swap use percentage of the swap use right because already uh, on this system the swap is not using because the memory is available there so this is for the swapping and if you want to see the swap phasing then you can use the hyphen w so it will give us the about the uh, pay swapping, pay outing and all this. So this will give in the 
this kind of the information using the w command <coughs> right so we have discussed till now about the current statics right but what if i want to see the cpu statics of the tomorrow or sorry yesterday right the past day then how we can see so before we jump on to that just let's uh, check its configuration that how this package runs in the background and everything so generally its configuration file would be available in its less etc sys state sorry i forget sys config and sys state yeah so this is the configuration cat slash etc sys config and sys state okay so this is a configuration file और यहाँ पर जो है कि we have a keyword right history equal to twenty eight so you can mention that how long you want to keep your file in days right if value is greater than twenty eight the log file are kept in the multiple directory sometimes right for each month just like it will be divided in the January February till like that or it will be the uh, directory name would be based on the month right not just like January February but it would be just like the Zero one, zero two, like that, and it compress using ggbar and sar sar file to the in the days, right? Older than thirty one days, it would be compress. And what kind of the compression is doing? Bzips. Okay. If you want to see the status of the service, right? Then you have to check the sys state service. Service name is sys state. So. it is up and running successfully and the default log location for this sar is less var log and sa let me clear the screen first cd slash var log and sa this is directory where all the just like the days by the there would be file created just like the on the uh, for the 0 fifth right what is the current month and date so the number it is running so for the number we have on the number files we have the list file and if you if i want to see right ki main 5 tarikh ka jo hai ki cpu utilization dekhna hai mere ko if i want to see the utilization cpu utilization for the fifth number then how i can see just like what you have to do you have to run this r hyphen f this f flag stand for the files and the location of the file as a Zero five, right? <coughs> so it's give the CPU statics for the particular day. Just like the uh, this is my demo server, and I have not uh, um, the server was not online for the long time, so it is giving the very less. But yeah, if you want to see with a specific time, right? We don't know. This is giving from the this time to this time. But if we want to see that only from i want to see that uh, at 9:35 to 9:38 only right then how i can see so what you have to do you have to use the hyphen s s stand for start and the time right let me use this time so i want to see for the 00 to end time it what 09 38 Zero zero only, right? Then it will give us the detail specific to that only. Why it is not giving? It should give. Generally, this is the command format. I am not sure why it is not showing here, but <coughs> let me take another file. The slide for the twenty-seven. Oh, maybe like. Zero zero, and I want to see from the R zero zero. No, it is not given. Just let me see. Sar hyphen u hyphen f word log sa sa twenty seven hyphen s. It's like twelve zero zero colon zero zero two and time zero two 
colon 0 0 0 right so this is the perfect uh, sorry we were missing a hyphen u so this is the flag we have to pass <coughs> and we can give the just like the start and ending time so particular time we can see uh, that time it also gives the information that that time the system was restarted right and what was the cpu average statics in the same manner if you want to see the uh, memory information right for the past day then you have to use the hyphen r right so it will give us the more clear view on the first days history on the sar right all these have information so in this manner we can also check for the io state using the b command right so just like you have to change only of the options just like the swapping for the swapping it will give us the swap details just like the same manner for the swapping paging and what was the uh, just like the if you want to see the load average load right just like in the top command we see so this is load average for 1 minute 5 minute and 15 minutes so at <coughs> particular date and time this was the detail at that time so this was the all about the uh, top sorry sr command so you can also check into the just like the in the production environment day to day activities we have to analyze the environment right in case if someone is asking for the rc and we want to find out that what was the last day history right then we can use the sar command here so that's all about sar and thank you for joining me hope you enjoy this video and would like to request you to subscribe my channel and view more videos so you can gain a lot of knowledge and thank you guys